Hi, in this video, we're going to talk about using the modulation router to create an LFO that's going to modulate the filter cutoff. It's creating that sort of wobbly filtered effect that's quite common. Okay, so what we need to do first of all is decide what is the carrier and what is the modulator. The carrier in this case is the filter cutoff and the modulator is going to be an LFO. We want the LFO to wobble the cutoff. So what I'm going to do here is use one of these blank, unused, unassigned modulators here. And the target, of course, is going to be filter cutoff one. That's the filter that we're using. And the source is going to be LFO one. Okay. And we're going to set the rate. So what you, what you notice here is that it's measurable in hertz, so cycles per second. So if I drop it to around one, that's going to be one LFO cycle per second. And what I'm going to do is turn this up. So the intensity of the modulation is going to turn that up and see what happens. Okay, the shape of the LFO is assignable here. Uh, for LFO1, which is the one we're using, and for LFO2, which we're not using quite yet. Excellent. And the LFO also has an assignable decay. So if we want it to decay at first for over two seconds, we could do that. See, it went from open to closed over about two seconds. We can make that longer. And we can go into negative territory here. Or we can just reset that so there's no decay at all. The LFO is in full effect right from the start. Excellent. Now, if you wanted to, if your MIDI keyboard supports such a thing, you can choose the via menu from here and choose the mod wheel so that the mod wheel on your MIDI keyboard would also be used to modulate the cutoff as well as the LFO. You can choose the intensity of the mod wheel relative to the intensity that's already there using the orange triangle there. You could also have a via from another modulation source such as LFO2 if you wanted to. So now we have two LFOs modulating that stuff. We can intense, intensify the LFO2 this effect on there. I'm going to turn it to square wave, see what happens. Turn it up a bit. Excellent. So that's how we use ES2's modulation router to create uh, an LFO that modulates the cutoff frequency. See you in the next video.